Oil spills are the worst disasters that can ever happen to the environment. Somehow, there is this collective human guilt when we see the black, sticky stuff covering shorelines and vast areas of ocean water. Well, a group of students decided to do something about that guilt. They invented a DOST-certified water skimming robot that can significantly shorten oil spill cleanups. The world is 80% ocean and home to a massive part of the planet's biodiverse population. But it is under threat from man. Oil spill is essentially petroleum products that are dispersed unintentionally or accidentally to the marine environment. Oil in the environment is uh, dangerous, causing uh, toxic uh, effect to the marine life and of course to human. The year 2006 saw one of the country's worst oil spills near the island of Guimaras. Guimaras oil spill uh, was caused by an uh, empty motor tanker Solar One which sunk off the uh, coast of Guimaras, emitting a uh, discharge more or less 2 million liters of bunker oil. It spreads along the coast of Guimaras and even reach until uh, Negros Occidental. I think the immediate impact on the ecosystem itself is estimated to be around $200,000. That's for the ecosystem itself. Huh? But the uh, rehabilitation is around almost 17 million US dollars. Current cleanup efforts take a lot of time and manpower, not to mention harmful to on-ground personnel. For uh, minor spills, we do manual recovery by scooping. But for major ones, we use mechanical uh, equipment. If you don't have any uh, personal protective equipment, it will uh, cause or it will suffer you some uh, health problems. Aware of these challenges, students from Letran Calamba decided to help clean up the world, one oil spill at a time. We were in a biochemistry class, and the lesson when we were listening to our teacher was about how materials attract to each other. And we found out that polymers and oil attract to each other, so we thought, why not innovate something? Let's create something that can solve a global problem. Nasabi po nila sa inyo idea nila. So ako naman po yung nag-isip po paano din po magiging posible sa physical features po ng robot. Thus, the Aquatic Z.0 was born. Kaya siya tinawag na Aquatic Z.0, Aquatic because syempre nag-ooperate siya sa water, Z.0 because zero oil. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng oil po nakukuha niya. The Aquatic Z.0 is an autonomous robot capable of cleaning and scooping up oil from bodies of water without direct human intervention. What it does is it separates oil from water. So whenever there's an oil spill, you can use this, our robot, to solve the problem. The microcontrollers control the motors that are used for polymers and for the GPS. We use this GPS or the global positioning system that will enable the robot to know where it, needed, where it needs to go. The power that we used here, it can be solar or you can use lithium polymer batteries like one of these. So using this distance sensor, it can detect if the oil container is already full. If it is, it will go back to the station to drain itself and send um, an SMS message to the operator. For guidance, Red, MJ, and Carlos look to their advisor, Nestor Sienes. I, I assigned particularly their tasks. For example, there should be one that is programmer, there should be assigned for the research, and there should be assigned for the construction or the engineer, the architect for, for the team, so that the tasks can be divided. For the three, Building the machine meant more than just personal achievement. Bilang isang Netranet, kailangan makakatulong po kami sa iba. The Aquatic Z.0 has a global positioning system which receives the coordinates of the area to be cleaned, 
allowing it to operate independently. Without the need for direct human intervention, ground personnel are spared from doing the really messy part of oil spill cleanups. Volunteers need not be exposed anymore to health hazards. If we are uh, sure that the equipment is well tested and it could deal with the particular problem independently, uh, this would essentially reduce the risk of uh, human accidents. That would be a good device. And if it would be uh, fashioned in such a way that it would be affordable, that would be very helpful in terms of maintaining the environment. With further tweaking and development, production can be upscaled to manage the biggest oil spills. Our next plan for the oil skimming robot is for the 18th International Robotics Olympiad in Beijing, China, this December 14 to 18. There's still a lot of rooms for improvement. Like, for example, kung yung gano karami yung capacity, yung capacity niya yung pinaka important, I think. We are thinking about different um, monitoring devices po na pwede namin ilagay po doon sa prototype namin. We can observe really the real time kung nasaan na siya ngayon. So parang ang gamitin namin is talagang satellite na ginagamit para makikita ng real time kung nasaan na siya ngayon. The Filipino innovation has a huge potential and this early, it is being given recognition. Yung sinalihan po neto, two international competitions and two national competitions. Um, we all win awards. This schema is ready for uh, patent applications. We are going to have the final sketch of the robots, final design for the proper documentation and patenting. The concept of a fully autonomous cleanup robot is a big leap towards a cleaner and greener world. It is comforting to know that there are young, brilliant minds up to the task, concerned about our planet's future. In our past episodes, we have brought to you gadgets and gizmos conceived by some of our brightest young minds. The inventions may not compare yet with what's out there in the market, but with proper support, who knows? What's encouraging is their talent and enthusiasm to design and create with just service to society in mind. Young Game Changers. Before we go, remember, anything, any idea, anybody can be a Game Changer. Are you? Next week on Game Changer. This season's most brilliant, ingenious, inspiring, trailblazing, heartwarming stories.